charm thyself a sumter. Thou hast this death chain hard, more particular than any other thou hast sith thine arrival. Why so, my dear? Reverend Mother, in most cases such as this, we have had the benefits of the services of Lord Beron to ease the sufferings of the tortured soul departing, who, knowing the hour of their demise would prevent them further opportunity to patch a difference, would rail against their plight, thus prolonging their suffering in unrest, seeking a resolution of the conscience. They would cry out, seeking answer, and finding none would compound further their distress. At such times Lord Beron, being male, could play that part when prevailed upon, and, with many a simple I thee pardon, or all is well between us, applied such a soothing balm to the mind of the departing, effecting a calm and peaceful release. My thin, womanly reed could not such a manly turn adopt, and this night I fear the Lord Beron was missed sorely. Underrate not the good thou dost, and reflect rather on the relief thine own administrations have begot. In a short time, not above a year, hast thou a talent for our work displayed beyond any expectation. How came I here, I know not, for when I awoke from fever, and found myself, as thou knowest, I had no recollection of who I was, nor from whence I came. Since that time have I determined that deliverance by our Lord was given, from some ordeal so terrible, my mind hath no memory of it. This knowledge doth drive my efforts, being so delivered, my purpose is plain, that I should do aught I can against another's pain. I mind well the day when the sisters, are gathering such plants and herbs as we in our medicaments prepare, did find thee wandering, bleeding and torn, and hither brought thee first to bathe and dress thy wounds. For three days and nights didst thou, in tormented fever, sweat and babble, in terms incomprehensible. Verily, did I fear that thou were possessed, and speaking demon tongue so frightful were thy fit? And then, when we did think thou must have perished, so still and calm laid thou, all of a sudden thine eyes oped in wonder, uh, with no mind nor memory, to assist thy, rest thy restoration. Thus did we elect and thereto keep thee safe until thy mind recovered was. Henceforth art thou a sumter named, and novitiate hast thou become. For which service I thank thee again, mother. So now, art thou so out of sorts? Forget thee not, though we through our modest endeavours seek to prolong the lives of those we minister, comfort must also be derived that the newly departed are no closer to God, and who are we to gainsay the workings of heaven? Come thy ways, go into prayer, for it is time for Vespers.